Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the master pose component to build modular characters in Unreal Engine 5. There's lots of modular character packs available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. These packs can be incredibly helpful when trying to add a variety of characters to your game while keeping the style of the models consistent. But if you don't know how to build modular characters in Unreal Engine, then you won't be able to get the most out of these asset packs. With that said, let's jump in. We'll start by making a new character blueprint. You'll want to assign a body part to the character mesh in the blueprint. In the folders of your character pack, you may notice the bodies are broken into different parts, and there may also be some fully connected bodies. I would recommend using just the head for the character mesh, as this will allow you to customize the clothing and other parts of the body. If you use the full body, you may run into clipping issues where the body parts will clip through the clothing. Once you've added the head as the mesh, you can start adding the modular parts to the character. I would start by adding the clothing first as this will dictate what body parts you may need. For example, if your character is wearing a sweater, you may only need hands instead of the full arms of the character. After you've added all of your modular parts, you'll want to access the construction script and search for Set Master Pose Component. Make sure that your mesh is set to the new master bone component. The rest of your body parts and clothing should be added to the target node. You won't be adding hair or any accessories like glasses here in the construction script. For the hair and any additional accessories, make sure that they're nested as a child beneath the character mesh. Then search for the appropriate socket on the right hand side of the viewport. Depending on the assets you are using, the names of the sockets may be different, but hopefully the creator of the asset will have named the head socket something obvious that stands out from the default list available. If you want to be able to control your character, then you can duplicate the third-person character blueprint that comes with Unreal Engine. Again, change the character mesh to the desired head mesh and then add your additional parts. And voila, you now have a fully playable and customized modular character ready to go. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more tutorials for Unreal Engine, be sure to hit the like button or let me know in the comments. All right, everybody, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you later.